I'm sure like me, as Home Office set in, the rest of you thought, hey, this is going to be great. And then unfortunately the dawning reality set upon us, and well, I'm back to doing videos. Frankly, Home Office was fun and all, but it does get just a teeny bit boring. So, here we are, and we're going to talk about uh, common table expressions versus SQL joins. So first off, here we have two tables in our demo database. And what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to join the information from these two tables, which should, in theory, be a relatively simple and straightforward task. So, first of all, we have instances, we have life cycles, and we have nodes. So nodes and instances are not the same thing, although they are the same thing, they're just named differently in column values. And then we have a few additional columns like uh, unique identifiers versus databases. So the first option available to us is to do a join. So we're going to join the database table with the node table. And we're going to join the database instance with the node column. So that seems like a relatively straightforward join. We're going to do a left join and we're going to see what the output is. And as you can see, we've got a null value here. And the reason we've got a null value is because between our two tables, there is not an exactly the same content. So here we have a DC um, North East dot D. So that's going to throw a null value because it doesn't match exactly with the other table. And this is kind of like where common expressions comes in handy. There is another way of doing this, by the way, but we're going to use common expressions in this case. So common table expressions allows us to use the select replace option and remove that D from the column. So you can see here, if I just do a quick select based on that, the, the D is gone. And then we can still join that with our other table. Now, I didn't need to create this as a separate table, but in this case, I decided to do so because I want to show you some other options that can be done later. And then finally, we take these two created tables, or the, the common um, table expressions in this case, and join them together at the end. So effectively, what I'm able to do here is something similar to what you'd be able to do with temporary tables where you could insert into a temporary table and then join the two together based on those temporary filtered but in this case now i can do it as just one single query no temporary tables created so the first one here we can see everything is joined together which is perfect that's exactly what we wanted and there's no nulls so i can also now add to the second part of this so i'm going to add to the life cycle i'm going to filter out um, that I don't want um, life cycle status retired. So now I should only get those that are currently deployed. And you can see we have four results, there's no nulls. So we've effectively solved the problem that we had with our first join issue in terms of not being able to match values. And this is where it kind of comes in really useful. Now, keep in mind, obviously, this isn't the only way of doing this. And that's something that I've said at just a little bit before we're saying you could do this with temporary tables but this is a much cleaner way of doing this